Hello, and welcome to another episode of Church Documentary Now, a series where we explore how various members and ministries of this church use their time, talent, and treasure to strive to be God's church in the world. Now, most of our ministries, you can see some sort of manifestation of them on Sunday morning. Of course, you see the choir sing, you see the acolytes work at the altar, and then their ministries are very, very valuable. But other things in this church are more of a mystery. So, for example, how does the altar get set? In this episode, we have used undercover cameras to try to catch the altar guild in their native habitat, to try to figure out how indeed they operate, how they keep all that silver and brass oh so shiny, and to keep the candles trimmed. And we might even find out what is behind this mysterious door, the sack. Christy? No one knows. We have interviewed all of the church members and no one has gone in and come out alive. Church Documentary Now has obtained footage smuggled out of an altar guild meeting. They often meet on weekends and late at night to make sure that everything is just the way that it should be. Here we see an unknown individual put the priest wafer on top of the pet, and that's where that comes from. And here we can see that she is taking utmost respect in making sure that everything is just the way that it should be. In this clip, we see more of the altar guild members supposedly back in their secret room called the sacristy putting on some sort of magic formula onto the brass to give it that remarkable shine. Here we see one altar guild member using some sort of secret knowledge to pour wine without spilling it through that impossibly small hole of the wine flagon. How does she do that? This altar guild member, clearly the leader of this secret order, is arranging flowers that seem to line up with the liturgical year. Where does she get the flowers? We may never know. But she clearly has spent hours and hours trying and discovering how to find new and more beautiful ways of arranging them. Well, there you have it, friends. Will we ever know what really happened? in the sacristy, or what the altar guild does behind closed doors. What we do know is that some choose to spend their time, talent, and treasure in a more discreet form of ministry that makes our worship that much more beautiful, while not necessarily being seen or noticed by everyone. Do we appreciate their ministry? Yes. And it makes us ask the question, how will you give your time? talent, and treasure. And will we ever see what's behind this door? I don't think so. Wait, what's that? 